Okay, I want to take just a quick minute to show how to get the Mongo shell Mongosh command recognized by a regular command prompt. So what I'm what I'm doing when I type in Mongosh is uh, I'm connecting to a Mongo database somewhere, uh, be it locally or in the cloud, um, and and then I can actually run queries against that database. So if I hit Mongosh here, if I just type in that command, notice I am getting that this is a recognized command. And if this is not the case for you, then you need to update what's called the path environment variable. And so if I kind of escape out of this command prompt, I can show you how this is done. Now, if I go into my Windows machine and I'm going to type in environment variables, you can see edit the system environment variables. You get this button for environment variables. And if I scroll down under system variables, you see the path and you click on edit. And so what the path is, to explain what this is, the path is where your computer looks for executable commands. So I have downloaded the Mongo Shell command line tool and I've installed that um, on my computer. And so the URL for that, because I did do this ahead of time, if I do Mongosh uh, download, uh, not community, uh, download Mongo Shell. Okay, Mongo Shell download. So if you Google search Mongo Shell download, you do need to first download uh, the Mongo Shell onto your machine. So that's kind of the first step. Um, then you're going to go into these environment variables in your path. And, and the path is where your computer looks for an executable. So there's an executable, mongo sh.exe. And my computer at a command prompt is going to look in all these folders on my computer for that mongo shell.exe. And if I highlight the place that makes this all work on my computer, when you use kind of like the default installs, um, I should have, and I just was looking at it right here on my C drive users, EA Gunmanstead documents, Mongo SH, Mongo shell version slash bin. This is the directory that when you install that Mongo shell command, this is the directory. If I copy this, if I double click and copy and I open up windows, file explorer and i paste that path in look what it takes me to it takes me right to my mongo shell.exe so when you install you need to pay attention to where that bin directory is located this is my default where it's on my machine you know uh, your mileage may vary but you need to pay attention where this is at okay and so you copy this directory and then you go into your environment variables. In this case, you hit new and you paste in that directory. Now I already have that in there. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hit OK because I already have it. Um, if you want to be really thorough, you could put a backslash on the bin directory that signifies that is a folder and not like a file of any sort. Um, but you you type that in, you paste that in rather. You hit OK. You hit OK. You hit OK. Okay, you close your command prompt and reopen up a new command prompt. And if you, at that point, you've got your path verified, you can type the word path. And if you trace through this, you're going to find that directory that you just put in there. Again, this is kind of hard to look at. So uh, it's in there uh, because it's the same place and verifiable. Now, if you type in Mongo SH, this is a recognized command in your command prompt. Um, this will allow you to not only connect to local host, which is what I'm currently doing, but you can also connect to Mongo Atlas and have the remote databases on the cloud and manage those databases as well. So just getting this Mongosh command accessible from a standard command prompt window, this is how you do that through the, the path. I will say that if you run the executable directly, notice, um, if you run that Mongo shell uh, directly, um, it immediately prompts you for a connection string. You could just hit enter. And so I do have the Mongo shell kind of on my, uh, my pinned taskbar. And so if I want to get quick access to my Mongo shell, I just click that and, and I hit enter and I'm into my local host databases. 
um, or you paste in your connection string from Mongo Atlas. And so you could have that in your in your um, your task bar. We're going to learn to write these uh, Mongo shell command line commands, and we're going to learn how to do it through the GUI, which is MongoDB Compass.